Hi, I'm Adam Hitaney. I am the design lead on Magic Legends here at Cryptic Studios. And Magic Legends is an online action RPG where you step into the role of a powerful, magic-wielding planeswalker to take on the ancient forces of destruction threatening to tear the multiverse apart. So in order to overcome these challenges, players will need to master deck building to construct a deck of powerful, synergistic spells capable of standing up to these emerging threats to the multiverse. Much like the card game that inspired us, in Magic Legends, a Planeswalker spell deck is their magical ability manifested into powerful spells. Your deck is composed of 12 unique spells that your Planeswalker can cast during combat, with four of these spells being available at a time, cycling randomly after use. These spells are chosen from among Magic's five colors of mana, each with their own distinctive mechanics and characteristics. For instance, white spells manifest the restorative power of light and order to heal allies, blue spells cloud the minds of opposing enemies and exert control on the battlefield, black spells tap into necromantic power to reanimate the dead and drain life, red spells harness destructive elemental forces to deal direct damage, green spells embrace the ferocity of the wild to summon and nourish massive creatures. So not only is your deck your arsenal of spells, it also defines your overarching strategic approach on the battlefield. It's your army, your defenses, and your firepower all in one. When you embark on your journey through the multiverse, you will begin with a pre-constructed deck tied to the color of your selected Planeswalker class. While this might be your starting deck, however, branching out to include other colors and swap out spells will be key to your progression and crafting your own ultimate deck. Over the course of your adventure, you will discover, earn, and collect new spells that you can use to customize your spell deck. Any class can build and use any deck, regardless of the color themes associated with each. So you might have selected the blue aligned Mind Mage class, but you might find yourself not playing any blue spells at all, instead opting for a red-green deck and still be highly effective in the game. So certain colors naturally complement each other, like white's healing powers and black's life-draining abilities. You can combine these together to sustain you and your creatures on the battlefield. As you progress through the multiverse, you'll find and earn spell pages of specific spells. When you collect enough spell pages, you harvest enough ether for mission content, then you'll be able to upgrade your spell's rank and in turn their effectiveness up to a maximum level of 10. The spells that you collect fall into three categories. Creature spells are the army of magical beings that you can summon and bend to your will. You might summon massive beasts, resplendent angels, hordes of the undead, or any number of other creatures from around the multiverse. Enchantment spells create an ongoing effect for a set amount of time, which can synergize with other spells that you're casting. Sorcery spells are single-use powers which can quickly turn the tides of battle in your favor. Bathe your foes in dragon fire, nourish your summoned creatures, or simply mind control enemies on the battlefield. As with Tabletop Magic the Gathering, spells also come in four different rarities. Common, Uncommon, Rare, and Mythic Rare. You may find that you want to build decks with a focus on spells of higher rarities and then supplement your deck with spells of lower rarities to complement its core mechanics. For example, the Goblin Rush enchantment creates a 1-1 Goblin whenever you cast a sorcery. You can pair this with the Goblin Warlord who grants plus one plus zero to all your creatures and then also grants swiftness to all your goblins. Additionally, you want to keep a large number of low to medium cost damage sorcerers in your deck to keep churning out those goblins. Though the possibilities for deck construction are near limitless, there are some restrictions. Currently, decks are limited to spells of one or two colors at a time. Two color deck building is unlocked early in your game in your own personal meditation realm. Creature summon spells are restricted by a total of 12 creature points in your deck. The more significant impact a creature will have on the battlefield, the higher its creature point count will be. That means that you decide whether to focus on fewer, tougher summons, or more numerous but individually weaker ones, which can totally determine your approach on the battlefield. With these deck building basics under your belt, you should be ready to craft the ultimate spell deck and take on any forces that threaten the multiverse. Thanks for joining us, and remember to follow us on socials and our website for the latest updates on Magic Legends. We'll see you in the multiverse.